All right, good morning. When we last left, I think we had it so this part could turn. I think we had it so this part can turn. But now we want to lock them together. We want to constrain them so that they turn together. So we also need to adjust where the cam is because the cam can slide around like that. We don't want that. So two constraints we're going to have to do. One's going to lock it in kind of left and right where it is on the shaft right there. And then one is going to lock it into the shaft to keep the correct angle. So if I've got one right here, and you can see when I turn that, you can see the, my little pencil line right there, how that turns. And you can see how my cam turns. Well, we want to lock those in together. So let me like take a pencil line and kind of... So now my pencil line right there, you can see how those go together. So whatever the angle of this one is, is also the angle of this one right here. So Try and get it so you can see it. So let's do that in the computer. So we need to lock in an angle. Do, do, do. So when I rotate this, this needs to be at the same angle. Now there's two ways to do this. One, is because we made this apart, this cam right here, because it's apart, it has its own X, Y, and Z axis that showed up you know, when we made it as a part. Um, we can use that to our advantage. So as this thing loads here, so if you, you know, remember I've got my X, Z plane, my X, Y plane, my X, Y, and Z axis, so this might be a little bit off center because of the way that we made it, but there's still an axis this way, an axis this way, an axis this way. We can use those. So I'm gonna show you that way first, and then I'll show you another, maybe a little bit easier way where we're just drawing a line. So if you're using the axis, I wanna constrain, because strain is I wanna lock in these angles. So I'm gonna use an angle constraint, right here, the second one. Now I've got three different options, directed angle, undirected angle, and explicit reference vector. Most often we're going to use this first one where you're saying, hey, I want to take this piece and I want to take this piece and I'm going to stick them at whatever angle I want it to be. It could be like 45 degrees, 90 degrees, 0 degrees, whatever. So I'm going to take this first one, directed angle, I'm going to click my first edge, which is this angle right here. So this nice flat edge of my little handle right here. And now I need to find an angle on here. So what I can do the harder way is if I hit the plus on my cam to bring down my options here, find my origin, and let's say our Y axis. So if I hit that and hit apply, now you can see that that locked this angle and the Y axis of this one in together. So now that those are there. If you don't want to use the axis, here I'm going to undo, undo. All right, what I'm going to do now, another way to do that, is pretty much what I did right here. I'm going to draw a line on here. So I'm going to go into my cam. So if your cam's not open, right click it, go to open. So I've got it open right here, and I'm going to just draw a circle, or I'm sorry, draw a straight line somewhere on here. So I'm going to start a new sketch. I'm going to click on this face. And I'm just going to draw a line. Grab a line tool, come right here in the middle, come straight up, and that's it. Hit escape to stop drawing that line. So this line right here is like an actual line that you could use to edit parts and things, but we don't want that to be there. We want it to kind of be an invisible line, so we're gonna make that our construction line. So I'm gonna click that line to select it. Come over here to construction line, and these are just kind of guidelines to help you out. And I'm gonna hit finish sketch. So I've got that dotted line right there that I wanna line up. So that's like this pencil line that I just drew right there. Let's go back to the assembly, and it should show up. All right, showed up on that side, that's okay. And 
let's do that constraint again with that center line. So I'm going to go to constraint. Another shortcut for that is if you right click, right here is constraint. I'm going to go to angle. I'm going to go to directed angle. Let's say this angle and click on that line we just made and hit apply. And now those are locked in also. All right. If you wanted it to be at, say, 45 degrees or 90 degrees from it, so this is where your cams, you might have multiple cams offset from each other. That's where this offset is. So if I come back here to edit, so this angle right here, if I wanted it at, let's say, 90 degrees, a right angle to it, and I hit OK, now this line and this line are 90 degrees from each other. So when you go to offset and do your little fine tuning, a uh, little shortcut for that is right here. If you just click once on it, let's put it back, let's say 45 degrees, and it'll adjust itself. But let's put it back at zero just to start. So there you go. Now the problem with that, making that line there, is now I can see this line on here, and I see that other little yellow dot spinning around. That's the actual origin, I think. If I want to make those invisible, over here, sketch two, or whatever sketch yours might be, if I right click that and turn off visibility, I just realized my face is in the way, right click, turn off visibility, and now that part's invisible. All right. So now I've got my cam, it's locked to the angle. Now let's lock it back and forth right here. Uh, this is where you're going to do some more like fine tuning with your design, make it whatever distance you need. But what we're going to do is we're going to take a look at it from this angle and we're going to say, you know, anywhere from here to over here is what we have to work with. So what we're going to do is we're first going to lock it in to one of the sides of the box. So we're like taking it and pushing it all the way over to one side. And then we will move it however far with the offset. So first let's constrain it. And when you take two pieces and stick them together like this, that's called a mate. So I'm going to go to constraint. So I just right clicked, come up to constraint. I want this face right here. Click that for my first one. Rotate it. And I want to click on this face right here. And I'm going to hit apply. So the very first default thing is mate. Mate. Hit apply. And it's going to stick them together. So now these two pieces are stuck together and that's stuck to the wall. But I don't want it stuck to the wall of my box right there. I want it to come off you know, maybe an inch, maybe two inches, maybe three and three fourths inches, you know, whatever it needs to be, that's the offset. So if I just come over to my mate, click it, this is my offset, let's say two inches, put two, put enter. So now the distance from here to here is two inches. So now this is locked left and right, this is locked at the angle, so these pieces are locked in together. My cam is looking good. Uh, if you need to adjust it later on, again, come over here to my mate. Let's say three inches. It's going to shift it over. One inch is going to shift it over, like that. All right, so that's good. So now I have one cam. It is locked into place. While we're here, let's add a second cam.